Plaza Midwood, you probably know it. NODA stands for North Davidson. When Davidson is right there coming out of Uptown Charlotte, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th wards. Oh, wait, who is this guy? Yeah, we're, we're located in historic Cherry. Go to Google Maps and type in Realtor Roger Holloway and click on the links, 4.9 uh, stars. Guys, this is an amazing area. And if you already work in Uptown Charlotte and you love all things Noda and Plaza Midwood, I call them the hipster neighborhoods. There's a house at 1008 Catawba Avenue. And let me just show you the pictures and why this is so amazing. First of all, True Homes built this as a model home just about a year ago. And it's available for sale. That's what happens. They build models and then they sell them. This house has a carriage house in the rear. I mean, look at that. So you've got the house on a corner. Look at all the space. You've got a two-car garage, but upstairs is a carriage house. What could that be used for? Well, it's currently used for a rental. And occupancy on this would be October 2020. You can buy it now, and I suggest you do, but what would you do with this upstairs carriage house? Well, that could be a rental for you, and the price of the house is $785, inclusive of, of both of these buildings. But you could rent this upstairs, or mother-in-law suite, I mean complete mother-in-law suite, uh, with a bedroom, bathroom, dining, kitchen, living room, and all that. A kitchen? I know. Or you could run your business from up there, or have both of you working remotely from home, and have... Uh, all your live uh, right here, you're living. So this could be income generating. This could be a place for your business. The band could practice there. Uh, I mean, think about the, the, the possibilities are endless with, with a bedroom, a bath, a kitchen, dining area, a living room, and a utility room. Can't get in there because it's rented right now, but I will shoot a full motion video tour as uh, the this thing unfolds. So you come into the front door of the main house, got that little electronic key lock right there, nice foyer, hard surface flooring. Looking at it from the other direction, you're entering into this space here. Note the rug right there for the next picture. Now, if you say to me, hey, I need a full motion video tour if I could, then let me go do that for you of the house. So there's that round rug, and as you enter in, you see you have a dining area, you've got a kitchen right this way, you've got your butler's pantry there, and you've got an office space here. So again, working remotely, uh, what is this for you? What does this look like for you? How would you use this space? Again, I love the fact that as a model home, they had somebody come in and just do this really funky, fun uh, wallpaper. I think it looks great. Again, hard surfaces. So here's that open uh, study area for you on the main level. And again, could be perfect for working from home. Close the door, got your Zoom meetings in there uh, or whatever else you want that to be. And again, look at things like little niches like this where they've built in space and as a model home, you can see what it looks like decorated out to the max. But see how that bumps in? And so that's flush right there. It's a great space. And again, I like the wallpaper. Uh, looking at it back from the other area, there's that niche we just looked at. And then you see going into the kitchen, the butler's pantry. You've got lots of light coming in. This is great space. Now, looking at it from there into the kitchen, you also have coming in from the garage, I'm sorry, not from the garage area, but you have this little funky little space that they've got a window, kind of like a window seat, a little bench built in there uh, for you to put your shoes and boots on, stick them underneath the, the bench, or you could do anything you want with that. I mean, you could close that in and make that a little study area, uh, a little YouTube studio, uh, et cetera, and then we're going upstairs right here. Now, the main living room area is right off of the kitchen. I'll show you that orientation. But you see how big this is? You got plenty of light. You're looking outdoors to the, uh, the, the separated garage, the detached garage. But you got plenty of seating room. You've got plenty of room for your media. And again, it's just warm and cozy in that living room slash great room. So there it is from another angle. Curtain rods are up. There it is looking back into the kitchen right there. And then you've got the kitchen this way, white cabinets, light, hard surfaces, beautiful windows over the sink, a couple of uh, stools there for your eat-in kind of kitchen. And I like that. Looking at it from that angle, it's got a refrigerator there. Now, does the refrigerator come with it? Again, these are things that we could ask for, we could negotiate in our offer. Uh, wow, this is cool. Look, again, the hard surface is running all the way through. Mm, windows over the sink, 
Yeah, lots of light coming in. There it is looking back into your great room. You have a cased opening there. You've got a door uh, right there with, uh, you know, there's your exit entry door with uh, glass in it. And again, looking back into that dining area. Guys, I'm enthused about this. I know the price seems a little salty at $785, but go back and do your search for houses in Noda uh, off of by the country club there. Uh, there's a lot of grandfather homes at a million bucks in there too. So this has income producing or perfect really for work from home. There's your butler's pantry, how it connects to the kitchen. I just can't get over somebody running a business uh, from right out of that. I mean, you've got plenty of space. Uh, beautiful. Now, you do have a guest suite on the main level, and this is it. Again, this could be a second work office. This could be a separate office, again, away from the study up in front. Or maybe this is just a guest suite for, um, you know, long-term guests. Uh, maybe this is multi-generational, uh, and it's got plenty of room, plenty of space. And there you see the proximity to that cool little cubby space with the bench. It's got a full bath right there, full bath. Beautiful. And that's on the main level. Now you come up those stairs and here you have a little loft. Again, that could be another little workspace area. It could be a kid's, uh, you, you know, place for homework. There, there are a lot of, of uh, possibilities and functionality. You can see it right there with two desks and plenty of space and that light coming from the window over the, uh, the stairway. Now, now we're hitting the money, guys. This is the master bedroom. It's a nice wide, plenty of light coming in. And there's your door out to your uh, balcony. And wait do you see the view right there. Wow. So you can just get up in the morning and go out and sit there uh, and just enjoy your coffee out there. There is it looking from there. And there's your master uh, bathroom suite right there, your ensuite master bath. Now, here's something you don't know yet. Here it is from here. You're looking out to your balcony. But what is this? Well, this is a sitting room off of the master. So this whole master suite is an ensemble. So look at how much space you have left there, again, for furniture or whatever. Then you've got this sitting room, another TV room, another workspace, whatever you want that to be. Again, cased opening going in, lots of light, and uh, wow, a sitting room. You could put a couch in there. Uh, beautiful. Wow, this is neat. This has got hitting on so many buttons. Now, the main living area is 2780 square feet, 2780 in the house. But then in the second living quarters, upstairs, carriage house, above the garage, you've got, again, a bedroom, bathroom, dining area, kitchen, living room, and utility room. I love this master suite, don't you? It's got a shower, beautiful, two sinks. And then you come looking at it from this angle. Again, it got a window in there. And then you've got a gorgeous shower tiled up really nicely. So guys, give me, ooh wee, give me a call at 704-345-3400. If you know Villa Heights, if you know, uh, I'm gonna go back to the map here in just a second, uh, and you're interested in a house in that area, a new home, a model home, remember what they do with model homes. See so you right on the corner, look at all the trees. You know what they do with the model homes, right? They just max them out to the max and it's cool. And again, I don't know how you would use that backspace, but it's either income producing for you. It's a mother-in-law, nanny loft. Uh, I mean, if you need a nanny, let her live up there, completely different. And then your kids could go over there during the day, go to school, uh, or go to school up in your loft while you're working downstairs in all the spaces I showed you. Amelie's is right over here. Noda. Plaza Midwood, again, look at look at houses near the Charlotte Country Club. Uh, Central Avenue is amazing, just culturally rich. And who is this guy? I'm Realtor Roger Holloway, folks. I'd love to be your buyer's agent, me or one of my team members. Dilworth is right there. You know the drill because you probably have an office space here and you'd like to ride your bike to it. So hit the subscribe button, like, share, most important, get on the phone and call this knucklehead right here. And if you want to meet with me and have Jack the Real Estate Dog come along, that's doable. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.